In this video, we're going to make a Java Server Faces project in Eclipse. First, when you start your Eclipse project, make it a dynamic web project and select the JSF facet. Don't worry though, if you didn't do this, there's another way that we can still accomplish the same result. So file and new and dynamic web project. And if you click on modify by default configuration, uh, tick Java server faces and that will give you the faces uh, that will give you the faces context when you create the project. But if you've already created the project as we've done, I'm going to go up to the project that we've created in previous videos called Plant Places. This is not currently configured for Java Server Faces, and you can kind of get a quick look by seeing there's not a, a Faces config file, which there typically would be for a Faces project. Not to worry, though, we can still create one. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to choose Properties. And when I right-click, I'm right-clicking on the project name itself. So right-click and then Properties. Now. Uh, on Properties, look for Project Facets. Now you can select Java Server Faces. Uh, choose Further Configuration. Okay, uh, everything here looks good. We have URL Mapping Pattern, uh, Faces. I, I might also add another one. We might say anything that ends in .xhtml. What that means is if the server comes across anything in a Faces directory or anything that ends with .xhtml, as with uh, .xhtml, it's going to interpret that as a Java Faces page. It's going to basically do some compiling. It's also going to look for the managed beans uh, and everything else. Uh, which library do we want to use? This one's fine. It's the default library. Uh, the configuration file, Faces config. So just walks us through all the setup we're going to need uh, for Java Server Faces. And I will point out we're going to spend a lot of time in this file called Faces config. And now I choose OK and okay give it a moment to think and you see now we have that faces config file let's pop it open and take a look if i go to source uh, i see faces config everything looks good here it's an empty file we're going to add a lot more to this over time if i go to web xml uh, i'm taking a look at source now now I'll see this faces servlet okay uh, that was one of the things that we set up in our advanced configuration it's simply pointing to the Java class that's going to do all of the overhead and administrative work for Java server faces. Okay, now I'll take a look. Uh, here we have our servlet mapping, and you see those two parameters that we entered in advanced configuration, both the faces directory, anything that's in the faces directory, and also anything that ends with .xhtml. Uh, those are both going to be interpreted as faces files. You could use any extension here. You could call it JSF or whatever. Uh, I just happen to use .xhtml because we are going to apply to the uh, xhtml standard. Now, this web XML is the default configuration file for our web application. I'm going to go ahead, hold Control and press M, which is going to uh, give me a little bit better view of this. It will take away all the distractions. And you see, one of the things that web XML is uh, indicating here is the welcome file list. It means if somebody hits my web application and they don't specify a page, maybe they just go to my website, uh, maybe plainplaces.com or whatever it is, what page am I going to look for as the default page, which is the first page I'm going to show? And you see here we have index.html. That's the first one it's going to choose if it can find it. If it can't find that, it goes to index.htm. If it can't find that, JSP, and then default HTML, default HTM, default JSP. As soon as it find, finds one, it's going to stop looking, and it's going to say, OK, this is the default file that I'm looking for. Well, guess what? That's why we added this configuration down here to say anything that's XHTML, let's consider that to be a faces page, a JSF page, in other words. And what that will let me do now is add another entry to this welcome file list. And I'll go up and I'm going to go ahead and tab in, make it look nice. Index.xhtml. The advantage of that is the landing page that the user sees, the very first page, is now a faces servlet because I've set index.html as the highest level 
And then you see down here that it's going to apply that filter to the face of servlet. And the face of servlet is defined up here to face of servlet, which is the class, the, what we call, uh, sometimes it's called the God object or the all-knowing object. It is the uh, controller class that's, that's going to know how to interpret faces and also how to interpret navigation. So with that, I save. And we have now successfully set up our project. Uh, we've done everything here. Uh, we either create a new project or configure existing project. And then also set up our uh, web XML by using the wizard and adding the servlet, servlet name and servlet mapping. The wizard created all of that for us. We did a few extra tweaks there just to make sure that it would um, uh, interpret that first page's faces as well. I hope this has been beneficial. In the next lecture, we're going to look at the Faces user interface. Thank you.